So, welcome, Emer. Thanks, Jen. A bit nervous now, but I'm fine. That's okay. Well, tell us about what course you did, Emer. Um, so, I did process and chemical engineering in UCC. Right. How is the course structured, Emer? Say, from first year to fourth year? Uh, so, yeah, so it's a four year course. In first year, it's like a general engineering, so you're lumped in with uh, all the engineering in UCC. Okay. In maths, there is mechanics, which is kind of like applied maths, chemistry, physics, nerds. Yeah. <laughs> you get to second year, then it's more specified so for process chem um, modules. And when you get to third year, you do one semester and then you go on placement for six months. Were there any cool projects that stood out in your mind? Um, yeah, so we made our own beer and uh, we brewed our own beer and we made yogurt and stuff. Did you drink it? Uh, some people did and I think they got violently ill. But, uh, <laughs> Don't turn out all those kids. Why did you choose course, Eamon? I knew I was going to do kind of science and maths because yeah. I was strong in those subjects in school. Yeah. I didn't want to do just a general science course. I wanted the opportunity to work straight after. Yeah. But that's one thing when I was doing my legal research that I was like, when I qualify or when I do my four years college, I don't want to have to do a master's. I'd love to get a good job straight away and yeah. it's a real benefit um, of engineering. Were there like any shocks coming into first year that you found? Um, I suppose like it was a lot harder than I thought it would be. It's a fairly full on course, like there's yeah. a lot of modules. There was a good few dropouts from my year. It's um, probably due to like the math side of things. Yeah, it is all of, down to the math side. Um, they kind of get scared by the subjects. Yeah. Did you know it was going to be quite, quite mathy coming in? Yeah, I think that's kind of a given with um, with any engineering course. Yeah. I was pretty good at maths in leaving cert. Um, I got to be one. Well, problem solving is like the key element you need to be a good engineer. Would you say that the entry requirements for the course didn't really reflect how hard it was? Um, yeah, so I suppose it is It is a lot harder than the points might reflect. Yeah, um, sorry, yeah. I'll, I'll stop you there. All right. I, uh, can I get a hamburger, please? Be free. Be free. What was your favourite thing about the course? My favourite part of engineering was probably the work placement. Um, so yeah. I, I think it's a really useful part of of the course. In college it's all in theory, whereas in practice it's quite different. Yeah. Um, I presume you get paid for these placements, do you? Yeah, yeah, they're all paid placements. Do many people go abroad for their placement or do they stay at home? Um, most people stay at home, but there is the option to go abroad, um, to go abroad as nice. well. There was a couple of people actually went on Erasmus for a third year in my, yeah. my class and they went to the States. America! What does a process and chemical engineer actually do? Um, so we work on processes and with chemicals. <laughs> We're employed, in, are employed, I suppose now, in uh, pharmaceutical companies. Okay. Um, I'm working in an oil refinery. Uh, tankers come in with crude. We refine it into kerosene, diesel, gas oil. It's a really cool industry to be yeah. part of, especially when you come straight out. Um, you get unreal exposure to what chemical engineers actually do. Yeah, and Irving are a brilliant company. <laughs> You're gonna have to pay for that, yeah. Irving. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you say that your offers are, are quite open? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's an absolutely brilliant course. When you qualify, you can get a job straight away, but you're yeah. not. You're not like. You're not set, limited. You're not limited to what you actually can do. This isn't going in. in it. <laughs> and chemical engineering is just a phenomenal course for like opportunities to travel and anyone in my class that wanted a job has a job. I've got a job. Yeah. So colleagues now like working in Ireland or they working abroad? Um, so most of us are in Ireland. Cork is a real pharmaceutical hub. Cork is um, like one of the European hubs for pharma. Yeah, isn't it? yeah it's brilliant. Hello, I mean, thank you. So one of the questions that a lot of people want to know is what's the money like for a process and chemical engineer oh, coming out of college? Oh, dollar bills, baby. <laughs> Up there among the highest, um, highest paid graduate programs. In terms of like your average salary? Above 30 grand a year. Yeah. In your second year then like most of us are on above 40 grand. There's probably a lot of continuous assessments in engineering. So let's say hours outside of lectures. Did you find that when you did the course? Yeah. Yeah. You're, for parts of your year, your life is engineering. Really? Um, yeah. Like I said, it's a full on course. So when it comes to exam time, oh God, no. you have like in most modules, you'll have at least 30% of your exam. Okay. So there's a lot of continuous assessment like there that. There is a lot of it, continuous assessment. It is. Yeah. Would there be a lot of group work in engineering or would it be mostly solo work? Um, it's a lot of group work. Very rarely in the real world are you going to be working on your own. <laughs> yeah, you're never never doing that. Um, Is there any advice, say, you might give a sixth year that's thinking about doing engineering? 
I think if you're thinking about doing engineering, like it's it's not a walk in the park. Like, yeah. But at the end of the day, it is so worth it. The world is your oyster. In UCC, it's structured really well. You kind of get to know your lecturers and the peer support in UCC is brilliant. So like, there'll always be someone to ask a question to. There's plenty of people that might have struggled in engineering, but now they're working really good jobs. If you kind of have a problem solving green, you're half decent at maths, you'll be fine. Yeah. What was the social like, like you were? Uh, it was really fun. There's always events happening, so the Engineering Society is really good for having yeah. events. You kind of make time for going out. You, you have to make yeah. time going out. Yeah. Um, Especially in engineering when you're so snowed over and yeah, work exactly. all the time. You need a work-life balance. You do need a work-life balance. Um, and everyone's in the same boat. Yeah. So you all go out when you can, even if you shouldn't go out, you probably do anyway. Probably do, yeah. Because you'll probably just get through it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best things about engineering, um, all engineering, yeah. is that even though like you have like probably 40 modules over the four years or whatever. Yeah. Course teaches you how to think as an engineer, so it teaches you how to problem solve. It's a brilliant thing about engineering is that you're taught to think as an engineer. Yeah. yeah. So like you like feel that like you gain a lot more from the degree in terms of actual brain power rather than just learning stuff off. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Hello team. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what? One, two, three, four!